So starting with our bioengineering department, uh, they have three research focus areas, namely regenerative medicine, okay, or stem cell medicine, so and cardiac regenerative medicine, neural age, uh, engineering, uh, cartilage tissue engineering, muscle repair, stem cell, materials engineering, then blood substitutes. Just to mention a few of the key application areas, then it's multi-scale bioengineering, again going from the nanoscale to the full system, okay. So, uh, functional MRIs, multi-scale brain imaging, molecular biomechanics, cardiac biomechanics, bio-nanotechnology, and then biosensors. And then systems biology, really looking at the full system from the genome again to the full system. On uh, sequencing, on bioinformatics, uh, biological network reconstruction, genetic circuits, and then uh, systems biodynamics. Now that we have uh, cracked the human genome, now it's up to us engineers to take these building blocks and put them together to make something out of it. That's the real challenge and the excitement, okay, in bioengineering. And then we have some of the world's best teaching laboratories in bioengineering. And this is largely the reason why we are restricting the number of students that can actually enter the bioengineering program because of the heavy lab concentration. Okay? We can only run so many students through the labs at any given time.